Hello, Cindy. How are you today? I am wonderful. Do you know what today is? Yes, I do. Today is May 15th. That's not it. Well, what is it? It is too May 15th. What else? I think today is Friday! Friday, 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 Friday. Today is Viernes, Friday. Yes, it is Friday. Very exciting. And you know what else it is? No, but you're going to tell me, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm going to tell you that today is National Pizza Day. What? Well, National Pizza Party Day, specifically. So if you haven't already listened to Miss Amy read um, Pete the Cat's uh, Perfect Pizza Party. Perfect Pizza Party! Yes, don't spit all over the, the, it's not nice. In fact, where's your mask? Do you wear a mask when you go out? No, I am a puppet, stupid. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I wear a mask when I go out. Yeah. So that when I say things like, perfect pizza party, I don't spit all on people's faces, because that's rude. We have to be really careful. So everybody should be wearing a mask when they go out. I'm not wearing a mask now, because I'm in my house, so I, I don't need to wear a mask. And and no, you, you can't get spittle from the television or, or from your... your um, computer screen. No, you can't. Now, it's perfectly safe for me to talk to you without wearing a mask. But when I see you in public soon, which I hope I do, because I really miss my friends, <sighs> when I go back to school, I will be wearing a mask. Yeah. Which is kind of sad, because I have a very animated face, don't you think? You'll never shut up. Well, I, n I never shut up. I like to talk a lot. I like to hear my own voice. I never shut up. But if I'm wearing a mask, then... People can't see me talk, which is hard, but at least they can still hear me talk, so I'll just keep talking. Blah, 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 blah. Stop it. Sorry. All right, so I want to read today Pete the Cat's um, phonics box. I want to finish this. Hey, did you know what else? What? It's also Chocolate Chip Day. So, Well, on National Chocolate Chip Day, you could make chocolate chip cookies and pizza at the same time because you'd have the oven on at the same time. Wouldn't that be a good idea? And then you then you save on energy costs by baking your pizza and your chocolate chip cookies all at the same time. It's a great idea, right? Don't you think? Are you going to read the book now or what? Yes, I'm going to read the book now. So I'm going to read um, my my next short vowel sounds. Let's see. I did A and I did E and I did I and I did O. What vowel comes next? A, E, I, O, you! Not me. Yes, you! Not me. The letter U. Oh, the letter U. Yes, U. Uh, 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 the letter U. So I'm going to read um, Pete the Cat's short vowel sound letter U book out of this package. And then I'm going to start the long vowel sounds. So when you say the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, you're saying the long sound. And when you go A, E, I, A, U, you're saying the short vowel sound. Stop doing that. Okay. All right, I'm going to read these books. And you're, you, you want to you go lay down over there and think about um, chocolate chip cookies and pepperoni pizza? It's Friday. Mm -hmm. It's a great day to bake chocolate chip cookies and pepperoni pizza. All right, all right, so Cindy, I don't want to go over there. I need my arm though, and it's tough when you're a puppet. And you don't want to milk. I'm sorry. All right, you go lay down over there. I'm gonna read my, I'm sleep down here. I'm gonna read my book, my last one, for the, for the, uh, short U, uh. It says, Pete the Cat hungry for lunch. Do you see the uh in hungry and the uh in lunch. Yeah. And then I'm going to start on my long vowel sounds and I'm going to start. Oh no, I'm just going to do a review. I'm sorry. I lied. Just kidding. I'm going to do a review of short vowel sounds in this book. Pete the cat fish are fun. Yeah. Cause that's got all of the short vowel sounds. Eh, eh, e, ah, uh. It's fun to do. I have a good time with that. All right, here we go. First off, the letter U. U. No, not U. The letter U. Here we go. Pete the Cat, Hunger for Lunch. 
here are some uh words that we're going to see. In this story, you will read or hear words with a short uh vowel sound. Look for these words in the story and sound them out. Begun, crunchy, done. Oh, look. The word done doesn't even have a U in it. Hmm, but done is like one. See? O-N-E. Hmm. Fun, hungry, just, loves. Oh, there's no U in that one either. Huh. Lunch, munch, plum, up, and yummy. And then it says here are some sight words in the book. R for he is it make no to what? Are you practicing your sight words? Well, you should. Yeah. Here are some fun Pete the Cat words. Crackers, finds, fish, next time. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to do it, and then you do it. Look, there's Pete. Hmm. What's he thinking about? A sandwich. Okay, here it comes. Pete the cat is hungry. It is time for lunch. Your turn. Good job. Here we go. Pete wonders what to make for lunch. Your turn. Does your mom get mad at you when you open the fridge and just stand there staring into the fridge? Don't do that. It wastes electricity. You're wasting energy. Look, look at this word wonders. Wonders. Ah, look. There's the word one. Does it have a letter U in it? It does not. But it still says ah. I know. Very strange. Pete finds a yummy fish. Is he done? Your turn. Oh, there's the word done. And there's no letter U in done, but it says ah. Uh. He's got fish and bread. Hmm. No. Pete finds a plum. Is he done? Your turn. So let's see, he's got the bread and a plum and fish. Mayo. Mayo, what's mayo? Mayonnaise. That's right. Do you like mayonnaise? I do. No! Crunchy crackers are up next. Is he done? Hmm, he's got crackers. Oh my, the sandwich is getting really, really big. <laughs> I love Pete the Cat drawings. He makes me laugh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that book is stuck. Oh, last page. That wasn't so hard, was it? Not. Oh, no. The fun has just begun. Munch, munch. Pete the cat loves lunch. Look at his sandwich. Look at all that food stacked up. That's pretty cool. Don't do that at home. You'll just make a mess. All right, so that was Pete the Cat, Hungry for Lunch, book five of the uh sound, short U. Now I'm gonna read another one, because this one's a review. Yeah, see, this one's a review of all of the vowel books. So it's Pete the Cat, Fish Are Fun. Mm -hmm. And this has all of the short vowel sounds, A-E-I-O-U, which say a, a, e, a, uh. No, we didn't do the letter Y. You're right. Y is a tricky letter. Yeah. We're, we're not going to get involved in that because one thing at a time, please. Okay. In this story, you will read or hear words with the short vowel sounds. Look at these words in the story and sound them out. Short A is in cat, 
has, pals, that. Short E is in get and pet. Short I is in fish, gives, his, hit, is, it, picture, swims, thinks, which, will. Short O is in mom, not, and shop. And short U is in but, fun, just. So all the CBC words. Hmm. All right, here we go. I'll read it and then you read it, okay? Where do you think he's going? Oh, looks like a pet store to me. Let's see. Pete the cat goes to the pet shop. He wants a fun pet. Which pet will he get? Return. gets a fish. A fish will be fun. Oh, look, there's this fish. Oh, there's fish food. Don't eat the fish food. No, it it smells like fish, but it, it's not, not for you. Don't eat that. Ugh, no, don't do that. Pete feeds his fish. But the fish just swims. That is all. Fish are not fun. Oh. All right, your turn. Ready? Yeah, fish are kind of boring, huh? You can't walk a fish. No. You can't put a leash on and take it outside. You can't cuddle a fish in front of the television. No. You could read a fish a book. They're very good listeners. Well, where are they going to go? They're in a tank. They can't exactly leave. And they're not going to mind if you make mistakes because they're a fish. And they don't care. So read to your fish. Pete thinks and thinks. He has an idea. Oh, that's what that light bulb means. Oh, I have an idea. All right, ready? Here, your turn. What do you think his idea is? I don't know. Oh, look, look what he did. He's painting the fish <laughs> with orange and yellow and blue paint. Pete paints a picture of his fish. Pete gives it to his mom. She loves the picture. Maybe fish are fun. Your turn. There. We did it. Let's see what the back, that last page says. Uh, last page. Pete makes fish pictures for his pals. They are a hit. Fish are fun. Look, there's the picture of his friends with his fish pictures. Ready? Your turn. Fish are fun after all. Yep. And there is a picture of Pete. I think that must be his mom. <laughs> did you make pictures for your mom for Mother's Day? Yeah, it was a little while ago. I hope you did. Moms love pictures. They do. And they don't mind if you make mistakes either, because moms are awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, friends. That is all the short vowel sounds. Next time I see you, we'll be doing long vowel sounds. And go look up the perfect pizza party. Pete's perfect pizza party.
Mm -hmm. I made that again today since it's National Pizza Day and National Chocolate Chip Day. You can cook chocolate chip cookies at the same time. I love chocolate chip cookies. You know what you could do? You could make a giant chocolate chip cookie and it would be like a pizza. Then you could have a cookie pizza. Ah! That would be fun. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You could take the dough that, and it comes in a big, big roll. It's already, it's already made. All you gotta do is squish it into the big pizza pan. Squish it all the way around the pizza pan. Bake it. You have to bake it a little longer than when you do regular cookies because it's a big cookie. And then you have a giant pizza cookie. I know, it's so cool. It's making me hungry. All right, friends, have a good day. I'll see you next time.